I don't know why I said what's up like that. Okay, so today I am very excited because today is the day when the project on which I have been working for since the past two or three months, I finally achieved it. What do you know? I rooted Mi 5 and I installed the ROM and I made Mi 5 look exactly like the Pixel XL. And I am not only I am excited myself, but I am excited because I want to show this guy, show this to you guys. All the Xiaomi Mi 5 users over there, you guys have not been seeing much ROMs for the Mi 5. I know, I have searched YouTube and there are very less ROMs on the Mi 5 basically. But I promise, I promise that I am gonna bring more number of ROMs for you guys because I am myself a Mi 5 user and now I am gonna check out a lot of ROMs on the Mi 5. So today, I am gonna show you how you can install Android 7.1.1 stock Android on your Mi 5. That's the Pixel OS, that's exactly ported from the Pixel XL. I'm gonna show you and you're gonna believe me believe that and the best thing about this ROM is that there are no bugs Sorry, I'm just talking, I don't know. so yeah let's just not waste time and let's once again get into business because we are here for business let's look at how to install and a quick overview of the what the ROM has to offer that is Android 7.1.1 on the flagship that Xiaomi has to offer the Xiaomi Mi 5 and if you're wondering that why sunlight is hitting on my face and why am I looking like Wolverine let me tell you you're not the only one this is Freaks and Geeks and I am Joelito let's get started okay guys so starting this tape recorder session once again guys once again starting this so head on over to the download section and download the ROM and the G apps package will be over there so do download them and store them on your internal storage and the next thing do ensure that your Xiaomi Mi 5 that is your device that is currently in front of me is rooted and you have a custom recovery like TWRP recovery installed on a Xiaomi Mi 5 so after you're done with that and after you have ensured that the, all the things that I've said you have done it so after go ahead power off your device and press the volume up button and the power button together so what this will basically do is that this will basically boot your device into TWIP recovery as you might be already knowing recovery as you can see we are in TWIP recovery so after you are in TWIP recovery hit backup and backup your current OS I guess you are in MIUI because if anything goes wrong you can always come back here and restore your backup then hit wipe go to advanced wipe Dalvik cache system and data and just swipe to wipe then just hit back hit install and just select the rom so as you can see aosp gemini 3.5.1 this is the rom that we are going to select and just go to add more zips and select open g apps arm 64 7.1 pico and just swipe to confirm flash this is all that you need to do and nothing else just go back hit reboot and hit system so this will boot your device into the newly installed AOS CP ROM or this is exactly a copy of the pixel OS so once we are into this ROM this is the lock screen that you get so let's just quickly go ahead unlock it and uh, for the first time it will ask for your password and let's just enter the password that's my password and the best thing that about this lock screen that I've noticed is that the fingerprint scanner in me UI it was supposed that if you have to unlock your device you had to press the fingerprint scanner but now the best thing is that it has become an active scanner that is it can wake your device along with unlocking it so let me just show you let's just quickly give you a demo okay so as you can see I didn't even press the fingerprint scanner it didn't unlock the device so yeah, that's uh, about one thing, one improvement. And one thing is that once again, we, since this port is from the Pixel XL, so I want I would love to show you the animation. So let it just come into focus, as you can see. So as you can see, the animation, and we have our Google Assistant, our very own Google Assistant. So next up, let's just go to settings, as you know. So this is the thing. Let's just go to settings. So let's just quickly go to about phone, and see what do we have over here. Okay, so as you can see, it's running on Android version 7.1.1. So this is Nougat. That is the latest version that Google has to offer. Now let's just go back. And as you can see, model name Pixel XL. I have changed it. So that's all from here. Okay, system update it says. So let's just go. Let's, what else do we have? We have additions. Let's move over there. Let's just see status bar. Quick pull down, smart pull down. Uh, basic stuff guys. Uh, status bar icons. What else do we have over here? Okay, I have shown the 4G. Otherwise, it will show LTE. So I'm currently connected to Wi-Fi. Let's go back. Let's just go back one more time. Let's go to quick settings. What else do we have over here? Battery on tap, Bluetooth on tap, 
Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi data, brightness icon. So I have, as you can see, the brightness, oops, the brightness icon is showed over. It's auto, currently in auto brightness mode. Okay, let's just go back and let's just go one more back and let's go to system and super user indicator nav by animations. As you can see, I've entered the on-screen navigation bar. Otherwise, you can use the off-screen navigation bar as well. So as you can see, it does work. Okay, let's just quickly go into here power menu you can give the airplane mode and i have also enabled the search let me just show you as you can see google search over here is enabled let's just go back let's see what else do we have partial screenshot uh, let's go to buttons navigation bar as you can see if i disable the navigation bar they will be gone navigation bar you can come back one more time arrow keys while typing and uh, yeah wake up device by volume buttons that's decent let's go to lock screen Charging info, tap anywhere to sleep. That's about it. Let's just go back. Let's see what else do we have. We have additional buttons. Okay, let's go. Fingerprint as a home, as you can see. Let me just show you this works as a home button as well. As you can see, I just pressed it and it took me back to home for that. Okay, let's see. Additional buttons. Fingerprint wake up. That's about it. Go back. Let's go to display. Adaptive brightness, nav, but you more customize buttons. You can customize the layout of the buttons from here. Let's go back and sleep font size, brightness level, screen saver. And that's about it. We have gesture support and tap to sleep on the status bar, swipe to take a screenshot. Uh, let's just switch it on. That's work. Moves quick gestures to control your phone. Okay, I never uh, to quickly open the camera, press the power button twice. Works from any screen. Let's just try it out. As you can see, uh, it's asking me which camera to open from. So let's just select this camera and so the best thing about this rom is that there are no bugs yeah that's you you heard me right guys and everything let me just show you the flashlight bug is also gone as you can see flashlight is working no bug let me just show you that calls are also working oopsie I opened the messenger sorry let's just go over here and let's just call me5 as you can see calling via geo 4g and um, okay let's just go with the speaker so as you can see it's working so yeah one more thing that i uh, wanted to show you guys uh, before leaving for the moment and that's the 3d touch yeah many of you asking were asking in the comment section that what is the 3d touch is 3d touch even possible on android uh, guys it's not actually the 3d touch it's actually google's implementation of 3d touch it's not actually the pressure sensitive sensor but when you long press an icon it just gives you these options that's pretty much about it guys it's not the pressure sensitiveness and don't think that i'm misleading you or misinforming you a few moments later the only question that remains in my mind after shooting that entire video and after showing it to you guys is that if you like it do you think that that the rom is worthy of installing on the xiaomi mi 5 so i hope you like this video and uh, i really appreciate that if you hit that like button because if this video was helpful to you i'll appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel because that really matters guys because that really really helps out the channel and that inspires me to do more hard work and bring out more videos on a regular basis so yeah uh, i hope you you guys can definitely try out this rom and i'll be showing the resurrection image don't worry guys that's a video it's gonna come soon as well so yeah i hope that this video was helpful to you and if this was do give this video a like button and so Keep your opinions in the comment section below and tell me on what areas I should improve. And if you have any questions, do give them in the comment section below. If you have any problems, also leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as much as possible. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this on the Mi 5, the Redmi Note 3, the Yu Euphoria and more popular phones that are going to launch this year in 2017. So yeah, I'm going to end this by saying this note. Stay a freak and stay a geek because my channel's name is Freaks and Geeks. And that's all that I have to say because I have nothing to say more. I hope that you enjoyed this. Peace.